it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. like a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. Hi, I'm Donil Souls from Talbach and I'm a bricklayer. Hi, my name is Kwaita Sopazi, I'm from Duli and I'm in grade 11. Hi, my name is Michael and I'm from Tilbach and I'm in grade 11. Um, hi, my name is Samarin, I'm 17 years old, grade 11 and from Wolseling. Hi, my name is Noluntu Nongwe from Duli, here in Sierras, I'm 25 years old and I'm unemployed. I was born here in Sierras, um, 1985. <laughs> in Sierra's hospital. So ever since that, I grew up, uh, went to the hospital to go visit. For me now, when I also go now to the hospital, it's the, still the same hospital. It's uh, untidy, uh, the nurses don't care, no one cares. They only care when they find out maybe the inspectors are coming, then now they'll, they'll care. In our high school, um, the facility is just not good. I mean, it's like we don't have enough computers, we don't have enough chairs. Uh, the, the, the education is just not the same as here in town. Like, for example, in of Charlie of Mayor, it has everything. Everything, sport is supported, everything. But I, I'm not saying that I'm jealous or something, but they do their things in their own ways, so that I can say. And there, yeah, there's just not enough things in our school. and. Sometimes I think it's just because of black school. I think a big problem in my community is people, a lot of people are jobless. Um, some teens, they did finish their matric year, but they don't have, how can I say, the right skills to go further. My friend actually lives in uh, Krizani, which is the township in um, Tilbach, and the, the standard of living there is really low, and I, I really feel for the people. I, I understand where... Um, is coming from. I, I understand what she's talking about. Whereas um, numerous of my other white friends would just say, well, we don't understand what she's talking about because we've never been there. We, we don't want to go there. And I, and I think that is still very alive in South Africa. Yeah, and to add to that, we as black people in, in, in our high school, we, think, we feel like we're being rejected totally because we don't have enough sports and so stuff going on. We don't have enough activities. Arts and culture is not taking place. Uh, there are so many young children there who are so skilled and they are not being recognized at all. I come from, uh, from a family where everything was robbed. You see, you had no education. You had to walk in the streets and ask for people for, for education. So there was someone who took me and put me into school. But as I see life now, or things in Tobach now, you cannot blame government no more. In the sense, you got your own mind, your mindset. You see, you should change it yourself and stand up for yourself and do something for yourself. You cannot uh, point uh, fingers to anyone now in this time, because times change. I don't want to say you're wrong, but in, in a sense, you, he is wrong because I would say I can sing. I know I can sing. I want to be a singer. I, I won't just go out there and say, okay, now I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to sing in TVs and get all the sponsors. There are people behind that. If I want to get a sponsor, I must go to, to the government and look for a sponsor. If the people up there, the government, don't want to give me a sponsor, I won't be a singer. So we must blame the government because there are people there that were... That were were chosen to, to, to support us. I think in, in this time it's, it, 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 it's just not right. You see, you should stand up for yourself and go out there and do things, you see, because you cannot blame anyone or put your finger. There is so many organizations and people that can help you. You must stand up and follow the right direction or ask. You see, that's why they say communication is the key. If you can't communicate, I'm sorry. It's just too bad. You're going to sit there and be there. You see, you're not going to get forward or things like that. If you want something like maybe like we in Wolsey de um, desperately want the youth center, I think if you if you want to have the youth center so badly, why don't we start? Why don't we stand up and maybe ask for donations or or how can I say start fundraising? Maybe sell stuff at at school. Maybe at the end of the day, all the money can get together. We can throw all the money back together and say, "This is what we have. What can you offer us?" Yeah. Um, last week Monday. This Monday, 
um, in Duli, people were, uh, were, were protesting against um, yeah, because they've been waiting for houses till now. So it only led to the police being violent now. The guns were going off for the whole night. Police were all over Nduli. Uh, on the streets were fire, everything. It was just corruption. I, I think the media uh, yeah, plays a huge role because every government or every uh, com um, company or organization doesn't want to be under the media or falsely uh, accu um, false accusations must be uh, um, put set out about the company or who else. But when the media is coming into place, they give in. But yeah, I can say protest protesting is good sometimes mm -hmm. because it... The peop, uh, peop, some government, some kind, they recognized that people are angry, people want dead, and they can be recognized by protesting. So I think sometimes it's a good thing, but not do it in a violent way, a but way. just in a respectful way and decent way. Because even racism is still here in, in, in Sierra's. Yeah. You'll find out that there are white people that are, will speak with black people like pretending to like them, but you can see in their facial that uh, that this person is just pretending, is not giving it all. The people where I live, we have a, 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 a colored community and they have a black community called Pine Valley. And we do communicate, they do love a lot of colored people in Pine Valley, but the circumstances are a lot lower than ours, which is very low, you see. In Tobak is a different story. The people is mingling. They they are mixed. You see, mm. it's like all kind of um, ways of life and natures, like in Somalians, Nigerians, Kosa, Sutu, Chwana, all kind of natures and cultures. Mm. They are down there, mixed together in Talbach. In the black community, the, they almost form their own community, and they they live separate from the white community and the coloured community. So you find very little interaction mm. actually between the, the, the whites and the blacks and the, and the mm. coloreds. So we, we actually need to get people in there to, to experience what, how the other people live and, and really have an eye opener of what's going on in their lives, how are they dealing with it. To, to start with a simple point to change the concept uh, or the way they're thinking, you see, um, to check what is a, a democracy and what's a theocracy, you see, isn't about uh, um, racism or things like that. It is just a one love thing. Why can't we greet one another? Why can't we eat out of one bowl? You see, and things like that. No. I would like to see that we eat out of one bowl. You see, walk one walk, we sleep one sleep and things like that. Then I would be, government would um, have a slight change. I, but I can say um, white people yes, are, are still taking role. But we as black people, we have to just take out that corrupted mind that comes to us about the racism. We must just take it out because they are there for a purpose that we do not have. So they are there to deliver something that we do not have. We have take out the, the corrupted minds that we have, we as black people, and let them do their thing. It's not that black people have a corrupted mind about the racism thing. It's just that what happened years ago, it still hurts yeah. to the people that happened to. Even if in the films, if you watch the films, it, it, it will hurt you because the way black people were treated when, was not right. They were treated like dogs. But it ended. Now we live in a new South Africa. We can walk in the same street as white people. But white people still leads because I think white people did that because they, they were more advanced than us. Because we have many things that black people wouldn't have think of doing. There are cars now. Black people would never have thought of uh, making a car. You see, because the world is more developed because of, I wouldn't say maybe only white people did that, because also Chinese, but I think what happened years ago was the reason for today, but it happened in a wrong way. I, I think younger people already um, in, in more, uh, how can we say it, more populated areas like um, bigger cities and stuff like that, they don't have that, that barrier anymore. But I see, especially in our schools, there are still white people who keep to one side. They'll sit in a class with, with black people or colored people, but they'll keep to their own little group. Um, but I also think um, what you say about racism is, um, and apartheid is that, yes, it did happen and it does hurt. 
But mm. the problem is we can't linger on the past. Yeah, we have to. We have to move yeah, forward. I mean, so even though um, you can say yes, it hurts and, and and stuff like that, it 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 doesn't mean that now, for example, um, BE and stuff like that, um, it, it's sort of negatively affecting the white people in in a way because they they now saying, well, why would someone who gets a a C in in um, let's say um, school average gets chosen above someone who gets an A in in um in 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 high school and they want to both go sweat um sorry go go um study veterinary sciences mm. then what happens is now now people who could do the work are now being uh thrown out because they need to make way for other people well, of color the most um hurtful thing is that the people who started the apartheid, the white people, most of them died long the time. Yeah. So now the, on, the only painful thing is that if we start the apartheid thing, we'll be only hurting the, the people who just came to the world now, then don't know mm-hmm. anything. They only surprised just like us that your, your grandfather or your great-grandfather did this to black people. Mm-hmm. So the people of apartheid, the white people who murdered the black people and all that, they, they, they died long time. Mm-hmm. So why don't we just... I know it's, it's not easy for some to just forget about it, but mm. it, it's just we must. Because if we don't forget about this, then nothing will be right. Yeah. They didn't get opportunities, the black people, or the whites did get the black... The, sorry, no, no, no okay. offense. No but offense. Okay. the white people do, did get the opportunities today still, but I want to ask this burning question, what about us, the coloreds? Where do we fit in? I mean... They're talking about the blacks, you're talking about the whites, but where do we colors fit in? Mm-hmm. Either you, you you place yourself as a black or you place yourself as a white. But where do we colors really fit in? I mm-hmm. I don't think there's there's I don't think there's a lot of people at the parliament who's colored. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a lot of people at at, the, mm-hmm. at who's even a doctor who's colored. I mean mm-hmm. we f- we see we are in the middle, but we we as colors don't want to stand up for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We want to how can I say rely on people to bring us up? Uh, having a, a colored girlfriend or or a colored or yeah you know, black girlfriend or boyfriend depending on who you are, um, I think it's okay if they're from the same culture, because the, there are sometimes cultural differences that are, are usually too big for a relationship to really sit because. Um, for example, um, I don't know if this is true, but like in in the black culture, the man always does the work and the woman needs to be at home and stuff like that. And where in a white society, you now have the mindset, no, women can do anything. So if you take the two and you put them together, you're going to have a very difficult time to, to get those two people to have a very fixed relationship. But I, uh, but I think you know, it's very good to, 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 to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend to another culture because it's very good to learn something new, to learn something new in your life, um, to, to just learn what, what, what does it feel like to, 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 to be a white? You know, what do they do? What, what are their things? And mm-hmm. the white can learn what the blacks do so that there the, the, the can be no conflict, you know, whites and blacks, so that they can understand each other colors and so Indians. I think... I think um, understanding between different races will never come because mm-hmm. the races always make assumptions. Like now what you just said, mm-hmm. the, he thinks that um, in the black community when you are married, the, the, the wife stays at home and the man must be the one standing. So it, it always it's always like that. We always make assumptions. Mm-hmm. I think in the white community they do this, they do this. I think in the color they do this. So we never get to an understanding because you always make an assumption of me. I'm walking down the street, I'm black. You all, maybe you think, oh, now she's going to go steal because I'm black. Yeah. You always make assumptions of people. So I don't think we'll never get... If we want to get to an understanding, we must stop making assumptions of other people. I wouldn't um, um, replace or, or go out of Talbah for anything. Uh, you can give me billions, I wouldn't leave Talbah. Because when you come to the other place, it's the same thing. You see, if you come to the, to the city, it's so much pressure, of pure pressure, you see, you can't even take it. You have to move down countryside for relaxa- uh, relaxation, you see. Many, many people, even youngsters, they in Cape Town. I travel a lot, you see. 
They are telling me, I want to go to the countryside, man. Cape Town is not good. Pollution and things and things and violence and all that kind of... Countryside is the best side. That is what they are telling me. I'd definitely move out of Sirius if I've got an opportunity to go out because I am a person who is so envied to like to... to adventures you know i'd like to learn more about people more about things get to get to know just the world that i that i am in uh i would personally move back to the city because i i as a child i actually grew up in a city and i've got that bond with the city but a thing that i see a lot over here is that sometimes when 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 girls uh, or guys uh, go past matric they don't leave because they're scared of what's going to happen in mm. the city. So they keep themselves in their town. And that's what happens with the unemployment, is there, there are too many people who don't want to go study. They don't want to go out of, of Tilbach or out of Sears. And then what happens is you have this overpopulation of unemployed people. So what, what you need to do is you need to make it, um, need to make a mind change that it's not that bad to actually get out and to get there, out, out there on your own. So uh, that's what I think. Um, I think I would leave. I would definitely would leave because I think in bigger cities there's more opportunities, and um, as you, as you, as I mentioned, there's more. How can I say opportunities to develop yourself, to develop skills, to learn something new, and there's a more broader way to discover things. And I'm very adventurous. I love speaking. I love socializing. So I think I would leave. Oh, I already left. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never leave Sierra's for good. No, this is my this is my town. I was born here. 